five month old Kaysan Thomas has been found and found alive. Not just breaking news, momentous news. We have a station in Indianapolis working with the Metro Police Department in that city. And this news coming to us just a matter of moments ago. Colleen, we know this all started Monday night around 945. We've been hearing from the family throughout the last several days. And we understand that Eric Halpern was with the family yeah. and he saw a lot of elation. Can you imagine the celebration that they must be having? He said he believes they're going to be heading to Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. So Eric, we are hearing this not only from Eric, but uh, Carrie and I are hearing this just now. And we're going, I think now, to yeah. Eric Halpern, who can tell us exactly the details that he's heard from the family. Eric, can you hear us? Colleen and Carrie, I can hear you. A really incredible moment here as the family just about 20 minutes ago was putting out a plea that they wanted their baby returned. And then about 20 minutes later, there was this huge moment of joy in this parking lot where the family just let out these screams of happiness that they say their baby was found. Indianapolis police confirming that news. They say part of their family already on the way to Indianapolis to be with that baby. I spoke with LaFonda Thomas, Quezon's grandmother, just a couple minutes ago, and she couldn't wipe the smile off her face. She said this is going to be the best Christmas ever because her two twin grandsons will get to be right next to each other. Colleen and Carrie. Yeah, and these are her only grandchildren. These kids are five First months old. Only. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, Eric, we thank you so much, and, and we do want to recap. As I said, Carrie and I are getting all this information as it's coming in. Now, we've heard he was found in a car. We mm -hmm. don't know if it's the car. A lot of this information will be confirmed through the evening, through our sister station, and through our contacts. You've right. been on the phone. Eric's been talking with the family. We do want to reiterate, though, it's our understanding, confirmed by police in Indianapolis, that five-month-old Kaysan Thomas has been found, and he is alive. Medics are checking him out. He appears to be safe, so that is great news for that family. Of course, we're going to continue to follow that story. One of the other concerns that family had, uh, not only about his welfare, but was continuing a search tonight as the weather elements started to change. We know they're watching right? that. And they said they were calling on people. We heard them calling on people in Indianapolis to go out and yeah. continue the search to find it in their hearts to look for this little boy. Dave Mazza, we're going to go to now. Yeah. It's a good thing no one will have to continue it's the search awesome. tonight. And Dave, here's the thing, though. They are on, uh, we imagine, on 70, headed west mm -hmm. right now. They are heading. We continue to follow breaking news for you tonight. Case on Thomas, the missing five-month-old boy kidnapped in Columbus on Monday, has been found alive in Indianapolis. It happened just a short time ago. NBC4's Eric Halperin joins us live tonight to Eric. You were the only reporter we understand there with the family when they received news tonight uh, that he had been found. Hey, Carrie and Colleen, you might be able to hear some of the family and friends still excited in this parking lot in Whitehall. This is where they spent a lot of the day organizing search efforts, and this has been going on now since Monday night. I spoke with Quezon's grandmother, who said as the days passed, as the minutes and the hours passed and the temperature got colder, it was getting harder to stay optimistic, but now she has this moment just days before Christmas. This means everything. My grandsons get to open up their presents simultaneously, not one alone wishing that the other one was there. I'm so happy. I'm so grateful. My son, oh, the, the cheer, the happiness in his voice that he knows that his son is safe, healthy, and he's going to go get him. And that's, that's going to make our Christmas the best Christmas I've ever had in my 44 years of life. And earlier tonight, just minutes before they got that amazing news that Quezon was found safe, they were here pleading for help, and it was just such an incredible range of emotions from when they were pleading with us, talking to the media, talking to other news, wanting the public to keep their eye out and help with this, and then just minutes later to get that news. This is certainly going to be the holiday season that this family was hoping for. Eric, Colleen do we know who made the call to them? Do we know how that call came in? Was it Columbus police? 
Uh, we don't know exactly. They had indicated that there were other people that were helping them uh, with part of this search effort that had called them and told them about this. Uh, and then we shortly after got the confirmation uh, from Indianapolis police. And I know we're talking with Columbus police about this uh, as, right now as well. Eric, what about the family members who hopped in the car and started the drive to Indianapolis? Are you familiar with the names and faces of those who, who made the trip? Uh, one of them I know was Kason's dad. Almost immediately <laughs> after they got this yeah. news, there were the cheers in this parking lot, and then there was a car taking off to get out of here, and LaFonda tells me, that that was him on the way to Indianapolis to be with his little baby boy again. Yeah, it's, it's going to be quite a reunion for that family. Eric, thank you. I know you'll have much more for us tonight at 11. Uh, the celebration, it sounds like, is still continuing yes. here in that parking lot. As it should. It should. As yeah. it should, for I sure. Think it should. Uh, I, I just, I mean, it's such a sigh of relief. Pure excitement from LaFonda Thomas right after finding out her grandson, five-month-old Kason Thomas, is okay. My tears have turned to joy. Yes! The baby was with his twin brother, Kyer, in their mother's car Monday night in Columbus. Police say while their mother was stopping inside a restaurant, 24-year-old Nala Jackson stole the car. Kyer was found early Tuesday morning in Dayton. Kason wasn't found until Thursday evening in Indianapolis. This means everything. My grandsons get to open up their presents simultaneously, not one alone wishing that the other one was there. I'm so happy. It's the news Thomas needed. Along with other family and community members, she'd been searching nonstop for her grandson. She says it was getting harder to stay optimistic. We found the baby! Now, a couple days before the holiday, her family will be whole. To feel the joy, the happiness, and just the overall graciousness in my heart from everyone else, this is gonna be the best Christmas ever. She could not stop smiling seeing Kason in an Indianapolis officer's arms. She'll have an even bigger smile when Kason is in her arms. I can't wait to help my fat daddy. <laughs> I can't wait to see how he look at me with his little look. Yeah. But it's going to be just a, a very good reunion. I'm going to hug him and hold him so tight and just make sure that we never have to go through this ever again.